What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcast. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to be your host here today as we play a little bit more Dead State. So in the previous episode, we had actually, this place, I thought it was safe, and it turned into like a death trap. We've actually been having a lot of trouble over here. It's Bud's turn. Okay, so let's move him over there. Tweedle time. Get Vic, I guess. Vic is not looking so bueno. And then on the next turn, get yourself. And what we'll do is we will re-rally over on this side. It looks like they're actually going to get him. I was really hoping he would get one or two of the zombies. I haven't done anything in between episodes. I was hoping the guy with the sledgehammer would get at least one zombie on the way and maybe thin the number a little bit. But I guess it was too much to hope for for right now. So I guess we're going to wait for him to go down. He's taking a lot of damage and he is panicked. Why he hasn't run away just yet, I don't know. When it comes to hordes of zombies, I would strongly recommend the running away and the avoiding getting bitten. But you know what? Maybe he's got a different strategy than me. Maybe he runs on di he runs on different tactical frequencies than I do. There you go. And he's down, which means he's bit. And now he's dead. So, let's bring everybody else up. We will start to assist over here because we do need to clear this horde out. And if we don't, this is going to become a rather large problem for us in the long run. There we go. A little bit of damage right there. Many of the zombies are going to occupy themselves purely on attempting to bite and finish off this other zombie. So we should have plenty of room in here to get on our way. Okay. These guys are probably all going to sit down and feast on him would be my guess. Ooh, I was hoping that counterattack would get him. We have a very, very high chance to counter right now, which I'm enjoying quite a bit. The amount of countering that's taking place here rivals that taking place inside any kitchen you can find. Ooh, and there he goes. He's now a zombie. The wound is sudden and grotesque. Thug dies before he knows what hit him. Oh, I think he knows what hit him. It was a zombie and or zombie related accessory. It should be our turn fairly shortly. There we go. Now we get a turn. I'm going to do my best right now. If we can make solid headway against the zombies in this turn, I would appreciate it. There we go. Exactly what I was talking about. Oh, I could have taken... Oh, that was bad planning. If I had moved to there, I could have taken another swing. Unfortunate for me. Let's see if we can finish somebody off here. Tweedle time is my ringer when it comes to dealing with zombie-related problems. Unfortunately, he can't seem to really make contact. Alright, so we're still dealing with a horde, which is actually a little bit concerning. Especially considering the fact that very, very rarely do my guys seem to avoid getting bitten nowadays. Either way, it's only one bite. I know, Bud's in real bad shape today. It's probably going to take him a couple days to be better. What I need to do in this episode is keep a load off Bud, I guess, and maybe leave him at home on guard duty and bring somebody else. Let him heal for a little bit, because he's actually borne the brunt of the majority of this map's transgressions, so... What can you do? No, I shouldn't have done that. That was a bad move. That's a better move right there. A more acceptable move. Unfortunately, with our night vision taking place, we have like a really, really low chance to hit anything. So, we have the unfortunate problem. That was a lot of zombies. It wasn't a horde, but it was still a pretty reasonable amount of zombies. I don't know if they came through that door, or if they spawned right here due to the fact that we were making too much noise. I know the game has systems in place that cause zombies to spawn if you make too much noise while running around the building. But I'm not sure whether they just opened this door right here. I can't recall if it was locked or not when we came into the building. Or if that was a door we were going to have to kick down. Cannot remember. And so there it is. The combat's going to be done and over with. Let's go ahead and we're going to go out into this hallway real quick. Yeah, and make sure that this is not happening right here. I figure we might catch a couple more, like, latecomers. Somebody that decided to jump in on the back end of the combat. And I'd rather deal with him now rather than later. There we go. We got an arrow right there. Good. Oop, and there's another one. We actually, this was a fairly considerably sized horde, all things thought about. I, I think this may be, we summoned a pretty big horde at that fast food joint that one time, although I think that was a scripted event, to be honest. Because when that happened, we hadn't even made that much noise yet. We just went inside and looted a building, and I think we'd only made like 60 decibels of noise. Then again, maybe it's a different percentage chance to spawn a different amount of zombies. Kind of like when you play D&D and you roll a D20, and the higher you roll, the worse the event is that happens to the PCs. I don't know, it kind of just depends. It depends on the way the system's designed, but that always seemed, it seemed a little random to me. This looks like a pharmaceuticals place, or at least some, maybe a beauty care? No, beauty care and beer? I don't know. Beauty care, beer, and news? I don't know. It seems like an, a motley assortment of random items, but you know what? 
Who am I to judge? If they're a successful business, let them be a successful business carrying their weird, strange, unrelated sor assortment of goodies, I guess. I don't know. I think the... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say the aftermath of this combat right here is probably going to afford us a pretty large amount of stuff. We may have to actually make three runs of this place simply based on this combat. And I might be missing somebody in here because when the corpses stack up like this, it becomes difficult for me to verify like what we do and don't have. Is the dog carrying anything? Okay, dog wasn't carrying anything. I only ask because, oh, we got a Molotov cocktail. Have I had Molotovs before? I should equip Molotovs on somebody. I bet that'll be fun. We should be aware that during one of the combats, the, the little ticker up here messed up and there was a military guy on the list of things around that might be trying to kill us. So, all things considered for right now... Damn it, there's a hair in my mouse. Hold on. I've got a laser mouse, and every now and again a hair will get caught up in the little viewing eye. And what'll happen is it'll make my mouse really, really clumsy because the, the hair is getting in the way of the laser. And so just bear with me for a second while I fix that. There we go. We got a trash pile. I'll bring that along. Got some shotgun shells, antibiotics. That's a really, really big deal, so we'll take that. A trash pile. They've got some assorted parts over here. I'll take those. Not human parts, so I'm not adverse to picking them up. If they're human parts, and yeah, I might I might walk. I should use this opportunity to heal people too before we get ourselves into even further trouble. There we go. Let me know what you think about Tweedletime being our healer. I think he's doing an okay job. He heals for 24 on a on a heal check, so it's not too bad. Did he have a hunting rifle? Is that why we took so much damage? Oh, if he's not lootable, I'm going to be so disappointed. Please tell me he's not bugged out. Oh, he's bugged out. Son of a bitch. He has really good loot, too, I'm willing to bet. Oh, man. The bugs in this game. And it has to be the guy with the good loot, too. It can't be one of the guys with the crappy Glock that I have 900 of. It has to be the guy with the good loot. No, don't... Don't bandit... Oh, there we go. Yeah, he had a hunting rifle. That explains the damage. That explains the damage. Now, can anybody loot him now that he's finally... Or do I have to be standing on top of him? Maybe that was the stipulation. What the hell is going on here? It looks like it only wants Tweedle time to loot him, so... If Tweedle time's the only one that can loot him, I'll re arrange stuff. It's worth it for me just because the hunting rifle's so valuable. So let's go ahead and I guess I'll give stuff to Bud. I don't know what Bud's carrying right now, but I guess I'll move some stuff over. Just to make room for the loot in this guy's inventory, since he seems to be bugged out for everybody but Tweedle time. There we go. That should give us more than enough weight to carry his stuff. Oh, good. Now he doesn't even want to be looted by Tweedle time. What the hell? Why won't you let me loot you? Why won't you just let this happen? Okay, at a certain point, my, my anxiety and my irritation with the situation gets decidedly worse. And I'm approaching that barrier right now. Like, seriously. Why can't I pick up your loot? You just let me do it a second ago. seems to be based on certain characters too like sometimes characters and now that Tweedle time has moved stuff out of his inventory it doesn't appear to like the fact that I'm trying to loot right here all right well bullshit aside I'm out I'm finished like I'm done I'm not gonna try and loot him any longer it's not worth the effort and the waste of an episode to try and like loot something off a guy that doesn't want to be looted it's nothing I can do about it at this point so I'm not gonna concern myself with it we'll come back by in a minute like after we loot everything else to see if maybe it's fixed is it disappointing absolutely it's disappointing but it's not loot that we don't already have, so whatever. We already have hunting rifles, so it's not too much of a disappointment. It is a disappointment, don't get me wrong, but... I'm not gonna spend too much time focusing on spilt milk. Back on this side. The game is buggy. We know that for a fact at this point. We've been playing the game long enough to know that... Bugs are literally everywhere with this game. All over the place. Bugs crawling everywhere, and there's not much you can do about it. It's just you kind of have to live with it. I'm kind of wondering where this military guy is at. There was definitely a military guy on the list of actors in the last combat. I don't think I'm going to concern myself with it, though. I think we're just going to leave. Let's get back to base. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit myself of this location before my, before my rage and my salt grow any greater. 
I just don't even want to look at it anymore. I'm finished. I'm done. I'm out. We're leaving. Let's go. To the home base. No, not to church. To home base. And please be lickety splickety about it if you could. I don't want you guys. Damn it. Yeah, I don't care about that event. Well, I should actually. I don't want to deal with zombies in the dark, though. We have bad eyesight, and it's definitely been affecting our combats negatively. I'll leave it for later. So we got corner. Oh, good. We've got ourselves a couple of achievements, I guess. Got a random hiccup right there. I don't know what it is. Today, I have had the worst bout of just random recording-related hiccups that I have ever had before. Today. Just today. I'm... For some reason, my diaphragm is just not feeling it today. My diaphragm is just like, I am out of here. I am leaving the confines of your body, and I do not enjoy your company any further, dear sir. Sincerely, your diaphragm. Let's go over here, just in case you didn't know who the letter was from. Just in case. It's a letter from your diaphragm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You guys heard that new Usher song? I'm not sure if it's Usher, where he's talking about how he doesn't mind that his girlfriend's a stripper. That one's been playing on the radio. I don't know why there was a big pause right there. My brain just went entirely blank, and I have no idea why. And you can notice I'm clicking through random characters right now. Like, I'm not even clicking in, like, an intelligent fashion. I'm just clicking random stuff. My brain just totally shut down right there for a second, and I have no idea why. It was just like, eh. And it was, pfft, everything shut down all of a sudden. Speaking of which, I keep forgetting... But who has that stupid metal bat? Yeah, whoever's got- Oh, we've got six of these hunting rifles? Oh, never mind. I don't care anymore then. I thought we had, like, one of them. Alright, well, I, I don't care about the hunting rifle. I don't feel bad anymore at all now. Alright. What does that do? 30 to 45 piercing? Not a bad call, actually. Not a bad call. Maybe I'll go with arrows for a little while. Arrowed! MSG'd! Let's see. <laughs> Strong bad. Oh, man. I used to watch Strong Bad when I was, like, 13 years old. That website's been around for a long time. That guy has made a living off of Strong Bad at this point. He's essentially, his entire career has revolved around Homestar Runner. That's crazy. That's crazy that you can just, the internet's a wonderful place that allows people to do things like that for like the remainder of their days and just enjoy their time. Where did my arrows go? Arrow! Oh, it's in the ammo screen. There we go. So I've got 36 arrows. Bring all of those with you. I don't know how much it costs to reload. Basically, we'll try and figure it out over the course of the next combat. And then I'll give Bud the crossbow because... Trying to go easy on our stock of 38 rounds, even though we always seem to have a lot of them. And frankly, the piercing damage from a lot of the arrows seems to do really, really well. Like, we took a lot of damage the last time we got into a fight. Seeing as we picked up a crossbow in one of our last engagements. There we go. And so the piercing damage, actually, it seems like there's a lot less resistance to piercing. So yeah, we might be able to do a decent amount of damage with it. I don't know if there's less piercing resistance than there is bullet resistance. These things seem to be a lot quieter from when you're trying to breach locations, not with humans, but with a lot of zombies. Just in case you're addicted to using ranged equipment. Actually, I'm going to bring the AK. No, hunting rifle. Let's bring a hunting rifle with us. We've got the crossbow. I want to bring at least one hunting rifle with us because hunting rifles are dope. I love, to this day, I still love the sound effect of the hunting rifle in Fallout 3. Like that pipe rifle, just a BAM! It's so loud, it makes me happy. The loud noise reassures me that I'm using the proper firearm. 7.62 rounds. BAM! You have your own pile, your own personal pile of 7.62 rounds. Enjoy. Officer Vicky, do you want... What about Paul? Paul, do you want to use that gun anymore? Technically, you should, because it's really, really good. Like, I don't know why the 38 firing lever action rifle is better than an assault weapon, but... I, I don't get why. Maybe the critical chance is higher on assault weapons. I don't know. It's only 8%. That rifle arguably does a lot of damage, so. Costs a lot of AP, though. 6 AP per shot. Makes you wonder whether it's wiser to go for, like, more shots with less AP doing less damage. I don't know. I haven't had anybody use this right now. The SMG. I should have somebody use, yeah, the MSG-10. Let's have somebody use the Uzi for a while. I'm stoked about this. Actually, I think it's a Mac 10. I think it's supposed to be a Mac 10. Like, it looks weird. On your characters, it's large enough to where it looks like an Uzi. But in this screen right here, it looks kind of like a Mac 10, so it's hard to tell. They call it an MSG 10, so I assume it's a Mac 10. But you'll see what I mean. When I close this down, it's way too big to be a Mac 10. Like, the actual graphic for it on the character is an enormous, like, Uzi looking weapon. God, we have so much 9mm. Just take an entire stack. I don't even care. We have so much 9mm that it's like overwhelming. 
Grab a kukuri. I want you to have a kukuri. There's some police officers in the world that still have kukuris. How crazy is that? Like, you'd be talking to a police officer and he whips out a kukuri on you. I'd be terrified. I'd be like, oh, that's a, that's a intimidating looking knife right there, officer. Please don't stab me with it, although it looks like it's better for slashing than stabbing. Stabbing somebody, it seems like it would accomplish that goal, but it looks like it's optimized for swinging. That's why a lot of swords are curved, because it maximizes the impact zone. The curve makes it so that you hit right at the curve, it makes it do more damage based on your arm strength. Whereas a straight weapon, you don't get the same, like, chopping out of it, but you get better thrusting. Like, ha-cha! Take people out. Hopefully nothing bad happens today. I hope we have a good day tomorrow. I hate it when, like, 900 people show up and they're like, I'm pooping out my eyeballs and I need the day off. I'd be like, that sounds like a major, major <laughs> malfunction of one's own physiology. If you have a minute, I'd like to pray with you. I'm not a Christian. Oh, that's okay. Whatever your faith, I think it helps to commune with a higher power, especially at a time like this. Please, would you join me? I'd rather not. <laughs> well, if it's that important, it's obvious that your faith means a lot to you, and I suppose I can appreciate that. Hey, woke up with some major tooth pain. I would be a whiny bitch about these, or I wouldn't be a whiny bitch about these things normally, but it's like one of those toothaches that... Sorry, I think the pain center in my brain just exploded. It took a lot of effort just to tell you that. I'm going to need a day to see if it can be better. I'm just going to yank the fucker out. All right, you wouldn't take it off. I do that everything. You'll make it up to me tomorrow. You bet. I'll make you something nice. Now I just got to find some pliers. Oh, that would suck. That would suck so much ass. Having to pull like an... Oh, no, 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 no. That scene every single time. That scene from Castaway. Just like, oh my god, where he's gonna knock his tooth out with the edge of a of a skate. I was like, oh my god, that's the worst. That's the worst. That would be officially the worst day in human history for me ever if I had to knock my own tooth out. I, uh, I don't know if I'm really, really just like finicky about my mouth. I don't know if I could do it. Like, I, th I could, I've pulled a toenail off before that was partially like hanging off my foot. Like, I could do that. I can deal with things that are like on my body that you've just gotta like close your eyes and jerk. But when it comes to my mouth, I'm so finicky about my teeth. Oh no. That'd be the worst. It'd be so bad, it would be the worst. I'm gonna put her on guard duty because it seems like we're gonna get attacked every- Oh, she needs range skill. No, she's got melee skills. She'll be fine. I was gonna say, it doesn't seem like she's very good at- Well, she can fix stuff and build things, I guess. I mean, it seems alright. We should be able to finish construction on the workshop today, which will be a lot of fun. That means we can start repairing the car, which means we can get around even quicker. I get around. Get around, round, round. That's like, that was one of my first CDs when I was a kid. It was the Beach Boys' best hits. It was like a four-disc collection. Like, I was like 10 years old, my parents didn't know what music to get me, and so they knew that I liked the Beach Boys, and they got me like this giant Beach Boys anthology. It was that, and they got me Thriller, my Michael Jackson, actually. I'm still a Michael Jackson fan to this day. I think Michael, I don't want to talk about it, never mind. Not gonna go there, because people are gonna get all heated in the comments. People, I don't know where we should go right now. I feel like we're sort of clearing the map out in a fairly... The field of dandelions just stays there? Really? So you could technically hit that like every day if your survival skill was high enough just to keep people fed. Coleman. There's a campsite in Coleman. The Menard Strip Mall. Menard Graveyard. We've already hit all of these. The 4A Outlet Mall we're already done with. Chunk Brothers, we did that. Let's follow the 190 to see where we end up today. It's been a long time since we took a t like a day and just like traveled around and like saw what was there. We'll go up the 277, I guess, after this. Just sort of do like a circular rotation around this little chunk of map. And then what I'll do is we'll come out to here. A predator town. What the hell does that mean? A predator town? Like, like pull your skull and spine out predator town? I don't know if I'm okay with that. You should see the sound waves for that noise I just made right there. It's hilarious. Alright, well, let's just keep exploring. We've got a renovated farmhouse right there. A country clinic. That's just a clinic with a buffet in it. It's, it's Hometown Buffet's newest expansion. Come on down to Country Clinic. We'll pull that tooth and find you a booth. Ooh, that was all improvised. That came out on the spot just the way that I wanted it to. I was like halfway through that sentence too, and I still wasn't sure like what I was going to rhyme tooth with. And then it came together. Let's investigate the Predator Town. Let's be the aliens in this situation. We are the Xenomorphs. Ah, we make that hissing noise. I don't know. Wow, that waveform. I think I may have just like killed my microphone for a second. I apologize to all of the ears that I just ruptured. Ooh, you got a quiver on your back like you're, like you're Hawkeye. I am Hawkeye. Back before my arrow shooting skills. 
Unfortunately, Doug's not in the party, so I can't really, I can't really inflect with all the nerdiness that I would like to. Wow, things didn't work out. Hold on, hold on. We need to dissect. We need to dissect this situation right here. Things are not adding up. So, he's dead on the hood of a car, with a pickaxe coming through the windshield into the back of his head. I'm pretty sure I just heard a criminal investigator somewhere flinch. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you would just sit if I showed up on scene to investigate this, I don't even know where I would start. Was the pickaxe in his head before, and then he got hit by the car? We're gonna have to send this guy to the lab, there's no way. Now I ain't talking about a doggie. Doggies are not good for investigating corpses. They might bring home pieces of a body that- Ooh, almost seven gallons of gas right there. That's a lot of gas. What happened to this guy? He too has something sticking out of his head. Oh, a meat cleaver. Holy shit, that's grim. Was he like taking a nap and somebody just came up and hit him with a meat cleaver in the side of the head? My god. There's a guy hanging from the light poster. I'm getting a bad feeling about this location. I'm getting a real bad feeling about this. Oh my god. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about any of this. I feel like we should walk away right now. Frankly, if it was real life, I'd be like, guess what we're doing? We're leaving! <laughs> And there'd be that tough guy in the group that tries to argue, be like, nah, we could take him. But like, you shut your mouth right now, we're leaving. <laughs> they hit that guy with a pickaxe and then ran him over with a car for good measure. Are you kidding me right now? And apparently they don't like mayonnaise. I don't like the music either. I feel very, very nervous right now. I feel a scared. I'm feeling many emotions aligned with the like horror and terror areas of the spectrum. We got... Oh, don't make those little weird atonal sounds. That's not nice. I'll try and leave the volume up loud enough so you guys can be creeped out too. Everybody here has been murdered violently. This guy, they stabbed him with a spear. They hit this lady in the face with a machete. She looks like... They ran him over with garden tools. Oh my god. These people are brutal. I don't feel good about this right now. Say what you will about bravery, but I don't mess around with getting run over by a, one of these little Kubotas. I'm not okay with that. This is locked. I'm not gonna bash any doors right now because I get this weird feeling that cabinals are gonna show up in any second. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got a katana! He's got a shield! Oh my god! How did I walk right past these people? Oh no. Where's it gonna die? Can I burst fire? Oh, I can. Yes! Okay, so how much does that cost me? 5 AP? Everybody fall back for right now. Get ready for the next turn. I don't actually know if the bow... Hell yeah, shoot him with a bow. That seems entertainingly hilarious. <laughs> I shot you with a bow. How funny is that? That's hilarious right there. That is effing hilarious. Like, seriously, shooting somebody with a bow was a lot more satisfying and funny than I thought it would be. Okay, so you go back over here, set that as your active, and then step back again because I'm terrified about what's going to happen. Like, I don't see a whole lot of good resolutions to this situation. The UN mandate that I'm hearing on the breeze is coming through real, real quiet. Ow! Don't hit me with that. No! No, a chainsaw? Oh, come on now. Come on now, this is not okay. How was that a burst fire? Okay, guns aren't working. Time to run away. It is time to flee the scene. Keep shooting arrows. At the guy with the chainsaw because he has the horrifying proficiency for murder that I'm not okay with. This dude has a katana, which is also deeply terrifying. I'm gonna need you to reload and then just like step back and hope for the best, man. I I got nothing right now. The Predator tank seems like he's gonna be a severe issue for us. I... The Predator boss... He's got all kinds of armor on. Oh, man. I don't know if this is gonna be like a winnable... A winnable skirmish here. Ow. I mean, luckily, it seems like... Ow. 
I mean, I don't know. He's got so much armor that I'm not sure we can actually even do anything to him. I like how his chainsaw noise is still running. Oh my god. Let's try... See if the piercing damage hurts the tank. Kind of would be the answer there. Tell me that wasn't dynamite that he just threw at me. Are you for real right now? Are you kidding me? Dynamite? Yeah! Get down! So we are all bleeding profusely at this point. I think... I can't promise that I can even hurt this guy, to be fair. Like, this may be an individual that requires a little bit of finesse. And by a little bit of finesse, I mean a giant shot from my rifle across the face. Oh, there's another one over there, too. We have problems right now. We have a fairly serious issue. What does spray do? Is it an AoE? Ooh, 66 points of damage. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, he used up a lot of ammo, though, so... Things to be aware of. He got hit for 42. That's not too bad. If Tweedle Time can just like hold position for a second and like not die, I think we'll be okay. But he's got a katana, so all all bets are off around the time somebody's got a katana. Am I on fire right now? What the hell did he just hit me with? Oh man, this guy's got so much health. I am not so sure how to deal with this predicament. Oh, he got another turn? Paul, get him! He's still up? Oh my god. This is... troublesome. How is he still up? Oh, and he can attack diagonally. Okay, uh, drop him. We don't have much of an option. And then everybody else is really, really wounded right now. So what I need to happen... Okay, so he's going to keep wailing on him. He's going to get back up, so at least he's not out. I thought he was dead, so I was a little bit worried for a second. Go ahead and put an arrow on that guy, I guess, if you can hit him. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't expect it to come through, but, you know, it takes what you can get, I suppose. What I need to happen right now... Oh, he doesn't have an EpiPen. Okay. Okay, so get him back up. He's got the armor to resist, I think. That guy's just gonna keep tasing him. That non-lethal damage, though. Okay, so Bud's now down. That's okay, though, because Tweedle Time's back up. I'm not sure what just happened right there. It was a retaliatory strike, from what I can tell. He can't really hurt us with a crowbar, so I think we should be alright. I'm gonna do a long episode right now, because I don't really feel like I have much of an option. Like, obviously, I can't break off combat in the middle of this. It sounds like there's a bunch more of them around here somewhere. Get out of here. Get off him. If I can get Victor back up. Never mind. Just get Buddy Boy back up. We need his rifle skills. 
I think we just need to keep our noise down for right now. I will point out that this got markedly out of hand very, very quickly. This was not exactly the engagement I was in expect. I was sort of expecting it. But at the same time, I wasn't sort of expecting it. I don't know. He's dazed right now, which means his chances of... Oh, good, he got him for 61 damage. So now he's looking a whole lot less sure about this proposition. Now that I have you right here, get him. A couple more damage. Really, with a burst, you only... Okay, so I gotta get a better weapon. Maybe I'll give another hunting rifle to somebody. But as of right now, the Uzi or the Mac-10 is not doing it. I like how he auto-reloads every time that he fires. There we go. Okay, so we should be okay right now, I think. Oh my god, what a combat. What a combat. And think about the loot we're about to get out of this. Don't let them eat me? Look at all these people you've murdered, you asshole. Like, how can you even conceivably beg for mercy in a situation like this? Like, I don't even get how you can have the gall to beg for mercy in this situation. Like, it blows my mind that somebody would attempt that. Wow. That is some armor right there. Motocross armor. Jeez. He had weed, too. So this wasn't a total waste. Okay, so another one bites the dust. He probably can't carry all that. 100% fire resist and a little bit of bite resist on that right there. A box of granola. Let's... I'm going to grab everything that I can. He got a big shield, too, which I might be able to give to Tweedle time. It's huge, but it might work for us. I don't know. He had a shotgun that whole time, and he didn't use it. Like, seriously, the shotgun would have been like a game ender for us. I don't know why he didn't use it. I like how the chainsaw is still running. It's just sitting over there idling. Oh my god, that's so brutal. That's so metal. I, I kind of I need to stop the episode right now, but I'm interested in like all the things that will drop from this location. This guy has jack shit nothing that I want, so I'm probably not even going to bother with him. I don't really know if we need the fireman's armor, to be fair. The fireman's armor seems like a bit much. Oh, well, don't do that. I mean, I guess. Here, reload. Everybody reload. I know that during this fight, Paul must have gone through, like, an appalling amount <laughs> of ammo. Even I had to snicker at that one. Even I had to snicker at that one. It was too much. It was too much. Who has not looted anything right now? I know somebody's sitting here with an empty inventory. Paul, go over here and pick up the good shit. There we go. Bring the shield back for sure. I don't really care about that so much as I care about the shields and things. Got some parts. Another football helmet over here. I've heard the football helmet is really, really good. People have said it in the comments to watch out for football helmets. So that's what I am going to do. We'll have to make another run specifically just to grab the stuff off of these dead guys. This dude has, like, welding armor. No, he's got a bullet vest and a welding mask, from what I can tell. Okay. Wow. Porno and a chainsaw. Welcome to the apocalypse. Jesus. Like, I don't even really know what to say right now. That combat was so much more than I expected. And it got out of hand so quickly that it was like you either... I knew I couldn't get away. I was going to try and run was my first inclination is just be like get the hell out run for your life they clearly have us outgunned right now and yet I couldn't do that because they had the same AP that I did and so it was just like what do I do right here and the answer was just stand your ground and unload so glad that I swapped in that hunting rifle oh my god am I glad that I brought the hunting rifle because I think we wouldn't have been able to like kill them with the lever action the hunting rifle one shotted one of them because it critted which really really took the pressure off in the early fight but seriously the bow did surprisingly well, too. I'm really, really happy with the bow's performance. The bow performed fantastically. I mean, seriously, the bow is a great weapon. It's unfortunate you can't get your... It's unfortunate you can't get your gear back, but take from it what you will. It's it's pretty good. I'll probably put that on Tweedle time instead of the bullet vest now. And we'll just kind of, like, go with things. But anyways, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in this totally bowel-wrenching, just intense episode of Dead State. Things got real. Shit got real super fast. There were helicopters flying overhead. All of a sudden, Will Smith was up in my house. I don't even know. Anyways, I'll see y'all later. Hi, do everybody.